May I tell you a story about my Christmas? When I was a little girl. My great grandfather owned a Christmas tree lot. And every day going to school, I picked out my favorite tree. When it come time to cut the tree down, my dad didn't cut down my favorite tree. He cut down the tree he wanted and brought it home and we put the bells on it, put the popcorn on it, and tinsel on it, didn't have electrolytes. And at nighttime, my big sister would tell us a story about Mary and Joseph going to Mary, Mary Karen, baby Jesus, going to Bethlehem so she can bring forth the Savior. What y'all doing? Telling Jeremiah about the birth of Jesus and Mary and how she had to ride that donkey all the way to Bethlehem. And I just couldn't believe you to ride that. Who could imagine that? Who could imagine that? I think so. Where's that from? It's from a movie, right? Oh, the preacher's wife. Preacher's wife. They used to sing it. You ever heard that? I never heard it. Really? really? No. Denzel Washington? Denzel Day? No, I never heard it. Oh, Daddy. Okay. Denzel. Lisa, why don't you sing it? Uh-oh. Denzel. I never heard it. <laughs> <laughs> don't you sing it for us, Beans? I want to hear it. Can I sing you a song? Are you sure? If I sing you a song, you will be a good boy? Mommies and daddies always believe that their little angels are special indeed. And if you could grow up to be anything, who would imagine a king? It was so clear when the wise men arrived. That's why heaven stood still and proclaimed. One day an angel said quietly that soon he would bring something special to me. And of all of the wonderful gifts he could bring, who would imagine, who could imagine, who would imagine, who would imagine a king?
When you 
kiss your little baby. You kiss the face of God. Mary, did you know? Amen. Amen. That song just brings back the things that God has taught me about Christmas. Brought me back to things that God had planned from the beginning, the birth of Jesus. He planned it from the God. When God gave us the gifts, he gave us life, he gave us salvation, and he gave us free will. Yes. Those three things he gave us. And from the beginning, God planned Jesus. Amen. Amen. When he took Abraham out of her, he was planning Jesus. When he took them, and, then, and they brought them into Egypt. He was planning Jesus. Amen. Yeah, amen. When Jacob stole the birthright, he was planning Jesus. Yeah, amen. 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 When Jacob escaped to his mother's homeland, married the two sisters, had 12 sons, one daughter, he was planning Jesus. When they sold their younger brother, Joseph, into slavery. Yeah. He was planning Jesus. Yeah. He, when he became Joseph, second in command in Egypt, he was planning Jesus. When he brought his people, Jacob, who's now Israel, into Egypt, and they were protected from the phantom, he was planning Jesus. Amen. And then there was a Pharaoh who didn't know Joseph. <clears throat> he only knew Joseph by his Egyptian name. And they were concerned about the Jews populating and growing and growing. So they enslaved them. 400 years. 400 years he was planning Jesus. Without slavery, there would have been no Jewish nation. And if there was no Jewish nation, there would have been no Jesus. Amen. But then he sent a deliverer, a natural deliverer, because first the natural and then the spirit. And that natural deliverer named Moses, and he led them out, and they wandered for 40 years, and they came into the land that was promised. Amen. He was thinking, Jesus. His whole plan was Jesus. The whole plan was Jesus. And then the king from the east, Nebuchadnezzar, came and he destroyed Jerusalem and took the vest and went back to Babylon. God was thinking Jesus. Amen. He was thinking Jesus. Then there was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then there was Daniel. All four became wise men. All four became the wise men of Babylon. My God. Now the devil tried to stop this. Yes. He tried to throw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire. Uh. But instead of three being in there, it was Whoa. four. They tried to throw Daniels in the lion den. Yeah. But the angel came and closed the mouth of the lions. Yeah. He was thinking, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Then hundreds of years later, the Magi, and the Magi was like a fraternity, a fraternity of wise men, a fraternity of princes, a fraternity of kings. And one day they looked and they saw a new constellation in the sky. They knew something was happening. They couldn't figure out. They knew something great was going on. They couldn't figure out what it was. So they went back and they looked in their scrolls that went back hundreds of years. And I could see them just finding one scroll. And they opened it up. And it talked about the coming king. The coming king. This was a prophecy from the Hebrews. Probably coming from Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, or Dan. Amen. And they set out to find the king. They set out in a caravan. We, we say three wise men, but we only say that because there were three gifts given. I think there were probably many more. And they came across the desert. They didn't come by themselves. They probably had some soldiers with them because there was robbery going on. There was marauders all through the desert. 
and they headed towards Bethlehem. And there you find the wise men, the magi, the kings, and the prince facing the king of kings. Yes. Then God gave a special invitation to the shepherds. Told them, go to Bethlehem. See the coming king. And as they went and came to the stable, man, you got wise men, kings, prince, and shepherds greeting the shepherd. Amen. Amen. Then you got one more ingredient. You got someone who had to make the manger. Someone who had to smooth the wood. Who had to take out the wood knots. Someone who cared so much. Maybe he didn't even realize that the spirit was a state. And they laid hay in it. And they laid out Savior. In it. And that someone was who? A carpenter. A carpenter. Uh, Our Savior was a carpenter. Amen. 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 That was God's plan from the beginning. Amen. And 33 years later, the plan was finished. Uh, Thank God for his land. That's right.